Hello. Oh my goodness. We miss you, dear preschool families. We hope you're well. We hope you're safe. We miss you so much. And so we're going to have chapel today. And we are thankful for you. We're thankful for uh, this time. Now, we're going to sing some songs, all right? Here we go. Hello, everybody. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello, everybody. How do you do? God loves you today. Now, let's do some favorite things. If you like this thing, raise your hand and put it back down. You ready? Let's do the seasons. If you like fall, raise your hand. If you like winter, raise your hand. And if you like springtime, raise your hand. And if you like summer, raise your hand. I know everybody, how do you do? Turkey, raise your hand. And if you like mashed potatoes, raise your hand. And if you like stuffing, raise your hand. And if you like pumpkin pie, raise your hand. All right, I like whipped cream. That's good. Here we go. Hello, everybody. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello, everybody. How do you do? God loves you today. Let's do some favorite animals. You may have a pet. Like this, or you may just like this animal. All right, you ready? If you like dogs, raise your hand. And if you like cats, raise your hand. And if you like hamsters, raise your hand. And if you like snakes, raise your hand. Oh, Ugh. you like snakes? They're my least favorite animal. You may have a pet snake. That's all right. Here we go. Hello, everybody. How do you do? How do you do? Oh, how do you do? Hello, everybody. How do you do? cookies, raise your hand. And if you like ice cream, raise your hand. And if you like birthday cake, raise your hand. And if you like asparagus, raise your hand. Just kidding. Hello everybody, how do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello everybody, how do you do? God loves you today. Good singing. Wow. All right. All right, boys and girls. Just like Pastor Joe said, we are, we miss you so much that we, we said we got to have chapel. So we hope to see you very, very soon. Pastor Joe and Miss Meredith and I, we really miss you. So, but I know that we have not had been away from school so long that you do not remember what the very first thing that we do when we come to chapel is. That's right, sing Jesus Loves Me. So Pastor Joe's going to play. We'll do one verse, okay? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Good job. All right. So, this morning, we're going to talk about Thanksgiving and the reason that we celebrate Thanksgiving. The main reason that we celebrate Thanksgiving is because we want to say thank you to God for all the many blessings that we have, and, and we want to celebrate those blessings. Now, the way Thanksgiving got started a long, long, long time ago is because when America, when the very first people sailed on a boat and came to America, they got here and there were these folks here that were already living here and they were the Native Americans. And the Native Americans had, I mean, they had everything that they needed. They had plants, they planted food, plants and had food, planted seeds, had food, they knew how to hunt and how to fish, and so they could get all the food they needed, 
They learned how to build a house, a place of shelter, and all those things. But these people came over on a boat from England. We call them today, we call them pilgrims. But the first people that came over on a boat arrived, and guess what? They did not have enough to eat. They did not always know how to hunt. And they I didn't really know sometimes how to build a shelter for themselves to keep themselves dry and, and warm in the winter and those types of things. So the Native Americans were very, very kind and nice to them. And they taught them how to do those things. They shared their seeds with them. They um, helped them uh, learn how to cut down trees and make shelters. They also taught them how to hunt with a bow and arrow, and so that the, that the uh, pilgrims could then have enough to eat and that they would survive here in the new land where they wanted to live. So after they'd all been together for maybe almost a year or so, you know, they decided we should just have a great big feast. We should all come together and bring food and celebrate the harvest, what we have to harvest. And so that's what they did. They had a great big meal together, and they uh, and they it, people say that that was the first Thanksgiving, and so now we celebrate Thanksgiving in the same way to say that we are thankful that God has blessed us with food, with a place to live, and all the things that we kind of need to be able to live a wonderful life. Now, you know sometimes. There are people who may be missing one of those things. Maybe they don't have a place to live. Maybe they lost their job. Maybe their house burned down. Um, and there are people who don't have enough to eat. Maybe they don't have a job, so they don't have money to buy food. Or maybe they have some money, but just not enough money to have enough to eat. And so we can help those people just like the Native Americans helped the pilgrims. We have ways to help them. Now, if this were real chapel, today we would have asked you to bring a canned good or something, some non-perishable item, and we would have you come up and put it on the altar, and then we would give those things to our food pantry guests that come on Thursday nights to our, uh, to our food pantry. But, we're not here for you to bring your food, but we do have a blessing box that one of our Boy Scouts built, and it's out in the parking lot. And we're gonna, uh, we'll show you that in a few minutes. But if you would like to help another person who doesn't have enough food, you can always come to our blessing box, even though we're not in school, and you can put some food in the blessing box. And that way you can help someone else who needs help. And you know, that's what Jesus taught when he came to earth. He said that we should take care of each other and that the people like the widows and the children and people who, who could not take care of themselves, that we needed to take care of them. So when we do that, we are doing what Jesus has taught us to do, to take care of others and to be a helper. So, if you want to put some food in the blessing box, you're welcome to do such, okay? Now, let's say a little prayer. Remember, that's the next thing we do at chapel. Dear God, dear God, thank you for my many blessings. Thank, thank you, you for, for my many blessings. blessings. Please help me. Please, Please help, help me. me to remember to take care of others to remember, remember to, to take, take care, care of others, others and to be a helper and, and to be, be a helper thank you for my many blessings thank, thank you, you for my many blessings. blessings in jesus name i pray in, in jesus, jesus name, name i pray, I pray. Amen. amen amen all right guys pastor john and miss mary's gonna come back up we're gonna sing a little bit more Thanksgiving Day? Yep. Some of you may remember this if you've been in chapel before, okay?
Could we do something crazy, Miss Marilyn? Sure. Listen, we're about to go to the blessing box, and I wonder if, if you could like be zapped out there. Ooh. Are you ready? Ooh. So it maybe uh, we could we like count down, okay. and Meredith and I could like go and send you out to the blessing box. Are you ready? Okay. All right. Count to three. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Oh my goodness, here I am at the Blessing Box. The Blessing Box is here in the parking lot. And look guys, there's some, ca there's some canned goods here. There's some beans and rice. So you can bring anything that just doesn't spoil and you can stick it right in the Blessing Box. And then you just close it back up and lock it back up. And guess what? A person who needs that food will come Open the blessing box, take what they need out or what their family will eat, and then they have enough to eat, maybe for a meal or two. So if you want to come and put something in the blessing box, please do that, okay, and help another person. Thank you, guys. Shall we jump back to the chapel? Oh, yeah, let's do that. That sounds great. Go for it. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, we made it back. Can you believe it? The wonders Ooh, of technology. We're going to end here with I Have a Promise. Right? I have a promise. I have a possibility. I have a promise. With a capital B. I have a great big club of love. Choice. I have a promise to be anything I must be to be. Oh my gosh, we miss you so much. Thanks for singing. We love you. Love bye. you. Bye, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye, 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 bye.